I was actually in the G League bubble, you know, getting ready to take my, my pregame nap. Um, I was expected to play in the game that night, but I uh, got the call from my agent and, um, you know, couldn't sleep after that. I'm super excited and um, now I'm here and excited to get going. For me, it's, it's a great opportunity. That's how I look at it. Um, you know, anytime you get the chance to come in and, and, and get minutes, you know, experience is your best teacher. So there's going to be challenges. There's going to be you know, times where I got to figure things out. But this is a great group of guys, a great group of, group of coaches, and uh, I believe that they'll help me along the way. Point to you is this. You look at everything else, and they're very good defensively, as we should be too. But it's those two things. We can't turn the ball over, and everybody has to commit to good offensive rebounding decisions and getting back. 3.8, that's, that's two baskets a game. That's the difference between being a top five defensive team and an average defensive team, okay? Let's get this done. And we're underway on this Wednesday night in downtown Orlando. Steve Flipper's already played 11 guys there. Ooh, that's a nice little roll by Mo Bamba. Feet from Terrence Ross. Steal by Fournier. He's got to step on quickly and dunks it in. A rare occurrence. A dunk by Evan Fournier. Quick toss to Ross. Got it for three. Pretty basketball there. Threw it away. Picked off by Ross. Ross gives to Fournier, firing for three. Drills it! And Orlando's gonna get this one. Coming back from a four-game trip out west. That plays very well. Michael Carter-Williams with an exclamation point. Imagine, face Golden State on Friday night. Toppin' shot, no good, and that's it. The Magic win it, 107-89. to If we're locked in, we can stop all of this, all right? And we'll be in good shape. It's not going to matter if they get 22 points on fast break. It's our number one problem. It's our number one problem still. We got to be back. We got to be back. Number two, we can hammer them on the glass, all right? They beat Miami because they play these smaller lineups that are different and hard to play against, and they're great against the blitzes, okay? They got a ton of skill on the floor. Those are going to be the two biggest errors, the second chance points and the fast break points. Short rebound, Carter Williams. Fournier reloads out of the corner, drills it for three. Guarded by Wiggins. Vucevic takes advantage of that matchup for an easy two points. Oubre to a cutting Curry, blocked by Chuma. And Okiki with the loose ball. Drop off to Toscano Anderson, rejected by Okiki. Dribble drive, gets it to Chuma for free. Got it again! How about this young man? Trailing, puts it on the floor again. He hammers it down on Draymond Green. <laughs> Talk about quick decisions. He is uh, really something. Golden State inbounds, it's to Lee. Three by Lee is no good. The tap is no good. The game is over. Orlando beats Golden State 124 to 120. You guys always been 48 minutes is a long time, right? And yet you hung in there. You made a bunch of plays. And plus, the defense in the fourth quarter was very good again, okay? And that's a good win against a good team. Um, Vooch with a with a triple double tonight. I mean, I, I I know there's there's very little else that we have to say about him. But how, what impact does he does he make when he is moving the ball as well as he is in addition to all the scoring that that he's been doing? Yeah, I mean, you know, like we, I mean, you know, we got like Chuma. I think got two threes off Vooch's double team, you know. And he'll tell me tomorrow it was off the dribble, but it wasn't. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do this because now people are going to see how much we don't get along, you know. But. Uh, no, I mean, listen, he, he's drawing double teams. Uh, he's playing in space. He's playing in the post. And uh, he's playing at an incredibly high level. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Hey, hey, anything negative he says about me or the staff, I want written. Because I want, I want to have that ammo. Well done, man. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Everything will be positive, too, to make it look like a bad guy. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Juma, we saw on the telecast that when the game ended, a bunch of veterans came up to you, or at least Fournier, and I think someone else came up to you to 
either tap you on the shoulder or give you a hug. Um, what was that all about and what did that mean to you? Um, you know, it was just about them being happy for me, excited for me, uh, hitting big shots and making big plays in a, a big time moment. And, um, you know, it meant a lot knowing that they're happy for me. You know, happy team is a is a team that's always winning. And even when we lose and we still always see the, uh, the end of the tunnel, light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, we're just going to keep on playing. <laughs> you're on you're on you. okay i'm gonna unmute okay. magic.com vooch first off congratulations uh secondly i know you probably wanted to come in a in a win but j just how satisfying was it to to hear your name called as a as an nba all-star that was uh you know one of the best feelings ever i mean uh just huge honor, uh, you know, uh, something that you know, I'm very proud of being able to do in my career. Make the All-Star team uh, twice now, um, hopefully not the last one. But I think, you know, I have to, you know, thank you know, my teammates and the coaches, you know, for putting me in a position to be able to do this, uh, you know, from the beginning of the year and uh, pushing me and also, you know, uh, talking about it in the media and stuff when people ask them. So, you know, but without them, you know, I wouldn't have been in the position to do it. So, you know, big, big thanks to them. And uh, yeah, just, you know, very, a very huge honor for me. Nick, when you made it two years ago, we learned how you found out. How did you find out this time? Uh, well, so Shams tweeted out the, the names and, uh, but I, I was like, People want to congratulate me and stuff, and I was just like, nah, until it's official, until like I, I get word from TNT. Right. Unless it's official, right? Yeah. Come on, boys. Put your phone in roll, man. Come on. Oh, yeah, man, you got three. One, two, three. Hey, come on, boys. Victory on Sunday night against the Pistons, Jeff, and another big game for Nikola Vucevic, making one last pitch for a spot on the Eastern Conference All-Star team. Every night, JT, he's been consistent, terrific every night of the season, played all the games for the Magic, leading them when they were shorthanded. What a year Nikola Vucevic is having. Ready after the anthem, and we were, um, it was about, they're about to announce our starting fives. So Tatum, Tatum, and then should be Vooch after Tatum. Averaging career highs in rebounds, assists, and points. 26 per game is good for 11th in the NBA. Nicola yeah! I was able to gather myself a little quicker than the uh, first time, but just, you know, still, you know, amazing moments to, to know you make it uh, it's special. I mean, you look at all the players in the history that you know, haven't made it, or even this year, players that have had a great season that don't make it. It's just a very difficult thing to do and to achieve, and uh, to be able to make it twice is just, uh, just huge for me. And at center, seven foot 